Welcome to Engage in Maine. Never been to a tattoo convention? Well, you're in luck. Today, we're in the nation's capital to give you a private tour of an international convention. So come on and let's take a look. My name is Rick Levesque. I'm the organizer of the Ottawa Gatineau Tattoo Expo. I've been doing this show for about six years now. It's my seventh year this year. I started going to tattoo conventions for like, I'd say about 20 years now. And one day I just said, well, how come there's none in here in Ottawa? I said, there's one everywhere in Canada, but, but Ottawa. So I decided, I said, well, here, I'll start one here. And then I started off slow. I only had about 75 booths. Now I'm down to 130 booths with uh, over 300 hours, which is uh, it's great. I love it. Hi, my name is Jacques, and this year I'm uh, co-organizing the Ottawa Tattoo Expo, 7th edition, which is called Clash of the Titans. Well, the reason we organize tattoo conventions is basically to bring all the best artists that we can, the tattoo artists, into one room so that people can actually uh, shop around, see what they want, find the right artists for it, and basically share the art with the people that don't know it all that much. And also what we're trying to do is get vendors to show their products. We get uh, different people like photographers. Everything that gravitates around the tattoo world, we try to bring this into all one big room and get people excited about it. It's a gathering of artists, you know. It's to show their work. There are people from uh, around the world come to the convention. There's people like from across Canada that People, like especially the the audience don't know about which do and there's some that does really really good work and when they come here they should they, should, they show their portfolio portfolio and then um, people can see all their work through the one while we're doing this basically a convention we try to draw everybody uh, a couple of years ago tattoo wasn't that popular like it wasn't mainstream as much as it is now so now what we're trying to do, we get the young people, get old people, we get all types of people, different walks of life. Uh, you get, now you get this uh, small, uh, we, we got surgeons that get tattooed now, you got bankers that get tattooed, so it's becoming mainstream now. So basically what we want to do is get everybody to be, that likes tattoos or have been intrigued by them, to have like an opportunity to go and shop around and they don't have to go to one shop, all the shops are brought together. So we try to aim at everybody. We, we don't want to leave anybody out. Tattoos for everybody. It's a big gathering of all sort of artists that, uh, that do come to the convention. So you have more, um, more choices than just one artist. Like they choose the, the tattoo of their liking, the, their artist of their liking. So today I'm getting a tattoo on my knee cap. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but it's uh, it's looking beautiful already. Um, I have, I think this is my 25th tattoo at this point, so I'm getting up there. But uh, I wanted a nice little space filler, but something that looked really traditional and that in one shot you could see it with your with without having to wonder what it was. And uh, this is my very first tattoo convention. <laughs> I came as moral support for a friend, and I was told before I left, you're not getting a tattoo right. And, no, 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 honey, I'm not getting any tattoos. Well, okay, you're not getting a tattoo right. No, 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 I don't need any. I have, I have tons, I'm working on some. About 20 minutes after I got here, can I please get a tattoo? So then I, uh, I ended up getting a tattoo, and here we are. Um, I really love traditional and neo-traditional. It's the style of tattoos that I wear. So the traditional are the nice thick lines and these uh, old school designs. But neo-traditional means spicing up the color. And uh, so like we have this beautiful blue happening right now. And uh, poppies and what looks like Tudor roses are uh, traditional style tattoos, so I wanted to add that into all of my collection along with my uh, custom work. I would say that this is definitely top 10 for pain, similar to the top of a foot I would say. My first tattoo, I was 17 and I was in the Navy and I got my horoscope 
on my hip so my parents wouldn't know. Oh, I knew I wanted to have tattoos from the time I was a little kid. Like, I, uh, my parents, when they would get me Barbies, I would cut their hair and then draw tattoos on and then be like, oh, perfect, much improved. <laughs> so I definitely, I, I think my parents should have seen that one coming. So yeah, so yeah, I always, I always think that like, I just want things more colorful, more interesting, more different. The one underneath is started as a, is a big skeleton, but it's a Frank Sinatra style skeleton for my grandpa. I have, um, whew, I have a mom and dad tattoo on my ribs near my heart. Um, my girlfriend's uncle died of uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, and so her and I got matching tattoos together to remember him and for me to show support to her in that time. So I have a lot of very meaningful tattoos, and then I have cupcakes on my feet. So it really runs the gamut. It's a, it's an elephant. I should. I choose to, to tattoo an elephant because uh, I like them both, I find them noble, and uh, that's it. I gave her the idea and she started tattooing the, the elephant. So. It gives good luck and I like them much. So The first time I, I got a major, uh, I get tattooed, so at 18 years old I get my first tattoo. It's a tattoo I've been wanting for over 10 years. I've been debating what to do and how much because it's Mother Earth and it has to do with all the animals and all the, the nature of, uh, of the world. So it's, uh, it's very intense that I think I love it. Well, there's, all, there's also all kinds of entertainment that I have. Uh, there's competition, there's tattoo competition here, there's, uh, I have uh, musical guests coming, there's, uh, we got bands, we have bands playing, we have uh, sideshow freaks, like they call them, uh, they do a sideshow performance on stage, we have burlesque dancers, we have all kinds of fun stuff that people can do during the day. There's always the tattoo crowd people that have been around conventions forever, they're familiar with this. But to most people, this is all new and very interesting. Uh, and what we're trying to do to make it exciting for people is we're trying to bring bands, we try to bring like different types of entertainment that's not also very, that people are not familiar with. We get like the side shows, we got Cesc Carney, we try to bring in like anything that's intriguing, marginal, everything that's not like, uh, that people are not used to see. This is a different type of show. We got uh, different people that uh, like Mad Gon, who has a, a, an amazing story. Just the guy himself is a true like a force of nature. I'm Matt Gon from Portland, Oregon. Uh, I'm tattooed 99% of my body. I'm in the Guinness World of Record as a man with most uh, checker tattoos. Uh, 2016 edition. Uh, I've been in media, tattoo media for 30 years. I'm a guest of the tattoo convention. I also see that you have your eyes tattooed. Yes. My eyes and my tongue. <laughs> and the inside yes. of your mouth. Uh, yes. Oh my god. So what is it like getting your eyes tattooed? Um, it doesn't take that long, but it's just a quick shot in the eye. Uh, I mean, I've had eye exams just as bad. So it doesn't hurt? No, there's no nerves in the eye. It's just pressure. You feel it, but you don't feel pain. That's so weird. And what, what about the inside of your mouth? Um, that's all. It's very quick. It's hypodermic. It's not a tattoo machine. It's hypodermic. So it's a quick injection. However long an uncomfortable an injection is, that's about as, uh, how long and uncomfortable the tattoo is. Why did you decide to cover your entire body? Oh, I have birth defects and I got tattooed to hide the birth defects. It's an optical illusion to hide the uh, missing parts of my chest, my arm, my deformed rib cage, and, uh, there, and the uh, other surgical scars and other birth defects that I have. Yeah, yeah, I got tattooed due, uh, for medical reasons. 
So you get tattoos for medical reasons? I get tattooed to hide surgical scars, to uh, hide birth defects, to deal with my body. To, I have um, uh, birth defects, and I've been in a hospital since birth, and now dealing with medical issues. And I got tattooed because uh, I wanted to enjoy my body, even though um, I have a lot of serious medical issues, like kidney disease and rare birth defect that uh, caused me a lot of pain and problems in my own life. But a lot of people get, you know, some, uh, some tattooing to, you know, deal with uh, their own physical problems, but to the, yeah, but no one's ever done it. Um, to, I think to the point that I have, as far as I know. But, um, I mean, uh, there's a, I have a lot of disabled people out there that uh, tell me I'm an inspiration to them because uh, they, they're also uh, disabled and uh, they get to, wanted to get tattooed to have some kind of control over their body. I've been in a bunch of music videos in Europe. I've been in a few small movies here and there. Nothing anybody would have seen. But I've done a lot of TV shows like uh, Guinness Book World Records, Ripley's Believe It or Not, a uh, bunch of TV shows, little small ones, Venice Beach Free show and a lot of new shows, a lot of Discovery Channel medical shows, a lot of things like that. My name is Seth Carney. I come from Boston, Massachusetts in the good old U.S. of A. and I perform classic American circus sideshow stunts. See, there is a big connection between what I do, the sideshow, and tattooing because tattooing actually got its humble beginnings back in carnival sideshows. That's where you would find people like the tattooed man or the tattooed woman. And generally, these were people who were makeshifting machines and doing tattoos after hours just to make an extra couple of dollars. Captain Don Leslie, a personal mentor of mine who sadly passed away a few years ago, was one of the pioneers of tattooing in America, getting his start in a circus sideshow. I'd say currently to date I have probably performed somewhere in the neighborhood of about 15 to 20 tattoo conventions around the United States. In the tattoo convention circuit there's many performers like myself but we all have a different flair if you will. We all have a certain little gimmick. You have the Enigma who's tattooed from head to toe like blue puzzle pieces. You have the Lizard Man tattooed like green lizard scales. You have me performing as an evil clown. So, tattoo conventions generally will seek out sideshow performers to entertain at their events. What got me started in sideshow performing was back when I was just a young teenager. I went to a KISS concert and I saw Gene Simmons breathe fire on stage. And I remember back then thinking, that is the coolest thing. I've got to learn how to do that. And a few years later, I actually found an old school carnival fire eater who was willing to teach me and broke me into this business. You know, a lot of people ask me, how can they get in touch with me? And I pride myself on being very easily accessible to anyone who wants to talk to me. They can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash sescarney. I can find me on my website, sescarney.com. I'm also on Instagram, I'm also on Twitter. I'm a very easy person to find and I'm happy to talk with anyone, whether they want to book me for a show or just want to talk about sideshow and tattooing in general. So hello, we are the Royals. Um, what we do, we are kind of a group of super women. Um, we are everywhere, we do the party. When it's a party, we make it even better. Um, we do burlesque performance, go go dancer, we put the oh everywhere. <laughs> and we entertain the crowd and we make sure everyone has a lot of fun. Uh, actually, like we create this group for like what, uh, eight months, maybe nine. Uh, so uh, it's quite an achievement like where we are now because uh, we started from nothing uh, with the money in the pocket and we don't have a lot. But now we're kind of... Uh, yeah, yeah, we're doing good. Oh, good. And so the guy who has the tattoo convention uh, saw my first show ever with my girls and asked me if my troupe can play uh, in this tattoo convention. Uh, the funny thing was that I didn't have a troupe at that time. I just said to my friend, oh, work for me, we're going to have fun, we're going to do that show. So after that, after the show, when he contacted me, he was like, girl, no, we are a troupe. We need to do a troupe now because we have a gig in November. 
So, <laughs> that was the start of my troop, actually. So, thanks to the tattoo convention, I have like a group now of girls. If it wasn't of that, we would be like, I don't know, maybe we would do shows, but we would not be a troop. So, it was the starter. <laughs> I don't really think that it's. Uh, sometimes people just think that because you're like this or like that, you're a freak or something. People are scarier, and everything is different, right? So it's us, a guy who have a lot of tattoos, or a girl who have a lot of tattoos, or a girl who can expose her body and feel great about it and not be like a slut or something. It's scary for other people and they think that it's weird and different. But it's not that different, it's just that we took the choice of becoming something else or becoming a um, great persona or something. So yes, they are kind of connected, but at the same time it's so much different words and I think I see so much different people here in the tattoo convention who appreciate her work, uh, the work of the tattoo artist or the work of the guy who split the tongue in two or something like that. So like it's, it's just a bunch of people who are open-minded who want to discover new things. You have to be proud of who you are. Even you're fat, even you're small, even you whatever you are, you are something and you want to be you. And the thing with the tattoo or the thing with the burlesque is that you see the break yourself. And nobody can do it better than yourself. So I think that all those people need to know that, yes, you can be who you are, so be proud of it. Like, yeah. You can be any size or any shape. You just gotta love yourself. You got different categories of tattoo ca competitions. Like us personally, we have I think it's uh, six or seven competition or categories. You have uh, either small or big, uh, small or large or medium, black and gray. Then you got color, and then vice versa. Like uh, best back uh, sleeves. And what what that is is that the audience that comes in, they can come like show their their artwork from their artist that they did like maybe a year ago or recently or and we have judges that will judge on these uh, tattoos and then from there each winner the winner will be uh, we got first and second and third prize so the winner gets a plaque of our show and the artist as well will be getting a plaque for our show we have a category every night at the end of the day each day we have a tattoo of the day category, and and that's what uh, when the tattoo uh, when the tattoo artist does is uh, starts the tattoo. It's got to be started like on the day, like they can't finish it uh, tomorrow and enter it. They have to be done the same day, and then uh, they can enter it for the tattoo of the day at night. And then again, if they win, they get the prize, and the artist will get. It. What I'm getting tattooed is the tiger, it's a symbol of strength. I've always wanted one. Uh, I come from Nunavut where there's no tattoo artist, so I was lucky to be able to make it to town in order to get it done finally. I waited about four or five years to find the right artist, and luckily he was open, so that's why I'm getting it done. Today I'm actually getting, um, it's more of an abstract kind of tattoo. It goes along with the theme of the rest of the other tattoos that I have, which is uh, women. So it's gonna be, um, a grill, a woman's mouth, kind of with gold teeth, with that attitude kind of showing off her, her, her grill. And uh, it's going to pop too because with the rest of the colors here, you can see he's doing the blacks, but when, uh, when he gets to the lips, it'll really pop, especially with the gold teeth. The first tattoo I ever got was maybe exactly a year ago, my first ever tattoo. And uh, you know how everybody's going to tell you, oh, it hurts, and it's this, and it's that. You could only experience it for yourself, right? So after I got my first tattoo, I kind of fell in love with it. It's not really a pain for me. It's kind of a, a mental thing. So I kind of appreciate the fact that I have pieces of art on my body for the rest of my life. And uh, I thought it'd be cool to stick with one theme. So every time I get tattooed, it'll kind of go with it. With, um, with every other piece. This tattoo will definitely be um, entered into the uh, tattoo of the day for sure. We actually won the tattoo of the day. No, tattoo of the whole um, convention in Niagara Falls, which was a couple months ago. 
So looking forward to entering this guy too. It's, uh, it's something that I don't think you'll really see compared to all the other tattoos, so it's something different. So we're expecting a reaction from, from the judges. This one's gonna be tattoo of the day, which is Saturday today. And then hopefully, um, by the end of the uh, convention, this will be entered for a tattoo of the whole convention, and you never know. One of the things that's exciting about doing this is that first of all you get to see like different different types of styles from everybody because every tattoo artist has a different style, a different approach to the craft. And what's interesting is even amongst them, they like to see each other, like they, they also have idols, right? There's like musicians, like musicians who like other bands. This is the same thing. So it's great for artists to get together. This is like the school of tattoo. People learn from each other, they exchange, they share work, tips, machines, equipment. This, this is for them, it's like a seminar. Right? Like they, they just talk to each other. So that side of it is pretty interesting. Um, I'm Chantal Benoit, photographer. I'm located in Orleans, Ontario. And I capture people's beauty. Uh, boudoir photography is an experience for the female to showcase an intimate side of her. It's a very empowering um, experience, especially for a female who's divorced um, and lost herself, or for a mom who lost herself when she became a mom, um, or a breast cancer survivor who has low self-esteem. Um, it's, uh, it's all about beauty, and um, it's uh, an opportunity for the female to uh, build their confidence. Female do boudoir session for various reasons. They, a lot of them will do them for a gift either for their fiance or their husband or a gift, a Christmas or Valentine's Day gift. But a lot of them will do it for themselves as well because it, like I mentioned earlier, it's an empowering and uplifting experience for them and it, it builds their self-confidence and it, sh it showcased their beauty and every, every single woman that came in my studio said, you made me feel beautiful. It's, it's very common for females to have uh, tattoos now and um, it's uh, an artist showcasing another artist's work. Uh, when I do a boudoir session, yes for sure I will showcase the, uh, the tattoo because it's very important for the female to show them. So I tend to push to try to do a tasteful nudes to, so I'm able to showcase them. So uh, people who want to find out about our show, all they have to do is go on the web and type in www.ottawatattooexpo.com. Or what they could do also now is that they could download the app on any, like on Google Play or the App Store. We have an app, uh, like an app for mobile phones that will basically, if you go to any town that has a convention, well, it, it'll be downloaded onto the app, so you can look it up, the dates, the entertainment, the programs, you can find out artist portfolios, the attending artists, everything you need to know about them. So basically, uh, that's what you do. You go to the website, download the apps, and that's about it. <laughs> See you all next year. <laughs> all right, so that's a wrap on our inside look at tattoo conventions. Hope you had a good time. Check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you all next time on Engage in Inc. Hey, welcome to Engage in Inc. Never been to a tattoo convention? Well, you're in luck. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs>